Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a section view using SolidWorks drawing. A section view is a view used on a drawing to show an area or hidden part of an object. They are created by cutting through the object parallel in order to expose the inner or hidden part of the object. For this tutorial, I'm going to use two simple objects, okay, which is object 1 and object 2. So uh, let's start with the first object, which is object 1. So uh, basically, this is my uh, drawing sheet size, A4 and C landscape, completed with custom title block over here, okay, the one that we did in the previous video. So uh, I think it's better if you create this one and save it. Okay, so every time when you want to create drawings, uh, just load this file so you don't have to waste your time to create the title, the custom title block over and over again. Uh, now uh, let's say for this object one. Okay, so as you guys can notice over here, the red lines indicates the cutting line. Okay, so we are going to create a section view based on this cutting line. Okay. So uh, first of all, okay, generate the photographic projection from the part, okay, either in the first angle projection or third angle projection, okay, according to the question. Okay. So uh, let's say for this tutorial in third angle projection. Okay. So uh, make sure your document properties is in third angle projection. Okay. So you can check it by right click on this sheet format and go to the properties. Okay. So make sure the type of projection is in third angle. Okay. So okay, either cancel because you have no, you, you didn't change anything. Okay, so just cancel over here. Right. Uh, now, select model view. Okay, in order to create the orthographic view, just like the last video. Okay, so uh, click over here. Browse, and I'm going to select the first object. Okay, object one. Okay, open. Okay, right. So, just click over here. Okay, and then I need the side view, the top view, and also the isometric view. Right, okay. So, click okay, over here. Okay, um, now I'm going to change uh, the display style and also the scale. Uh, display style, okay, of course, for this orthographic version, we are going to use this hidden line visible. Okay, however, but for this isometric view, okay, I'm going to use this solid, okay, the normal one. Okay, right. And then uh, for the scale, um, I think this one is um, a little bit bigger. Okay, so um, I'm going to use a uh, custom scale of 1.5 No, okay, this one is you know, much smaller uh, I think I'm going to proceed with user define 1.3 Okay, I think I think that might be perfect thing, right? Um, so I'm going to rearrange this over here okay, The isometric is over here right. Okay, so um, you know, uh, I'm going to leave out the dimension okay? So uh, now, uh, once you have this photographic drawing, okay, projection over here, you can generate a section view. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, usually, okay, I use front and side view most of the time, okay, in order to generate a section view. Okay, so um, you know, if the line is cutting through the front view, okay, we use front view. Okay, if the line is cutting through the side view, then we use side view. Okay, so according to this picture, this question, okay, the red line. Is cutting through the side view okay so we are going to use the side view right okay so uh, now all you have to do is just uh, click on this uh, section view over here okay no, let's go over here now click on this section view okay right at the top of you know at this uh, common manager okay so section view okay now we have the option to choose the cutting line okay so either it's vertical or Horizontal, okay, you may also use uh, this auxiliary and also uh, a line, okay, but most of the time we use only vertical and also uh, horizontal, okay. So, uh, from the side view, okay, from this picture, okay, the cutting line is vertical, okay, so we choose vertical, okay. And technically, from here, you can select any point to cut the object, okay, so any view, any point, but just remember that we are going to use the side view, so this is the side view, okay. So, uh, however, according to the question again, okay, the cutting line is at the center, okay. So we need to select the middle, okay, the middle, the center of this side view, okay. So, uh, okay, you can zoom, right? Okay, so you know it is at the center when there is a small uh, orange dot appear on the line, okay, or this entity, okay, right? Uh, you know, so uh, select that point, okay, and click OK over here, okay, and move your cursor over here okay on the right side over here click on it and there you go okay now you have your section view okay 
Now you notice that there is a section line appear on this side view over here. Okay? So um, this arrow must be in the same direction as in the question. Okay? So do the letter. Okay, this letter, okay, this alphabet. So if A then use A, okay, if B then use B, right? Okay? So uh, according to the question, okay, the arrow is to the left from the side view, okay? So this one is correct, but however, if in the question is on the right, okay, uh, pointing the arrow to the right side, okay, so to change the direction, okay, simply click on this flip direction, okay? Right, okay? So we are going to stick with the arrow pointing to the left side, okay? So just like this, okay? And of course, okay, to change the alphabet, okay, use this parameter. Okay, so if the question is A, then use A. If B, then you can use B, C, or whatever alphabet uh, according to the question. Okay, so we want to use A, right? So uh, we almost done with the section view. Okay, and for the last step, okay, we need to place this section view at the correct place. Okay, so how? Okay, by looking at this arrow. Okay. The section view should be at the opposite direction of this arrow. Okay, so uh, the arrow is pointing to the left. Okay, so this section shall be placed on the right side. Okay, which is over here. Okay, so this one is correct already. Okay, so um, and for one more thing, okay, this section A. Okay, so the what we call this this notation is a little bit bigger. Okay, so you can reduce the size of the font. Okay, by double clicking on it and select any size that you want. Okay, for example, right here, okay, so 8, then click OK, okay, right, then you can uh, place this over here, okay, so that it this did not intersect with, uh, you know, this, uh, what we call this title box, okay, so, um, there you go, okay, so easy, right, okay, so I think we are going to go and just save this file and you are done, okay, so congratulations, you have already created and generated a section view. Now, let's move to the second object, which is object number two. So, as you can see over here, this is the second object, okay? So, uh, we have two support at the middle, okay? Both look almost the same. However, the support at the back use the rib features, okay? While the front one does not use the rib feature. Instead, it is a triangle sketch at the middle and use extruded boss, okay? So in sectioning, okay, when it comes to rib, okay, there will be small different view you will notice. Okay, I will show you later. So uh, first generate the orthographic projection. Okay, so I'm still using the third angle. Okay, and before that, okay, before we proceed, I'm going to delete this one. Okay, so um, okay, so just delete this one. Okay, just delete this one. Right. Okay. Now, we are good to go. So, uh, now select model view, okay, in order to create the orthographic view, okay. Um, okay, for this second object right here, okay, just like previous one, okay, so put it over here, okay, and set view, top view, okay, and also uh, the isometric view, okay, and hit OK, right. So, I'm going to change, uh, you know, the display style, okay, same, but however, for this isometric, uh, we will use the normal one, okay, right? So, um, okay, and then for the scale, uh, I'm going to use the same scale as previous, okay, which is 1, 3. Okay, right. So, let me rearrange this one, okay. Right. Okay, so, now, now, okay. So, um, according to, uh, the picture, okay, the question, okay, so uh, the red line is cutting through the front view, okay, so we are going to use front view, okay, so uh, click on this section view, and then of course choose a vertical, okay, because the line is cutting vertical, okay, and then select the middle section of this front view, okay, so I'm going to zoom this one, okay, and the uh, orange dot take here, okay, so um, now click over here, Click OK now. Okay, when you click OK, a dialog will be from up. Okay, so uh, SolidWorks know that you have a rib feature in this object. Okay, so all you have to do is just click on that rib part. Okay, so the rib part is basically this one. Okay, uh, the taller one. Okay, so uh, just click over here. Okay, once you click, it will be added into the list. Okay, so just click OK and you are good to go. Okay, so I'm just going to place uh, what we call the section B over here. 
Okay, so uh, now it's time to check the arrow. Okay, the direction of this arrow and also the alphabet. Okay, so according to the question, okay, uh, it is on the right side from this front view. Okay, so I'm going to change this one. Okay, flip direction. Right, okay, just like that. And and also, okay, for this alphabet, okay, which is B, okay, it's correct. Okay, and lastly, okay, the section view, okay, must be placed opposite direction of this arrow. Okay, so just bring this section view over here and you're good to go. Right. Okay, so let me rearrange this one. Okay, right, okay, perfect. Right, okay, so we change this one, okay, using 8 or 9, okay. Right. Okay, let me fit, zoom to fit. Right, okay, then there you go. Okay, so here you can see the difference. Okay, over here. Okay, this section view. Okay, so even though both support look the same, but if you use a rip feature to create the support, okay, then the section view of for the support okay, will not be shaded. Okay, if you do not use a rip feature, which is this one, okay, then the section view of the support will be shaded. Okay, so I hope you guys do understand the difference okay, between a rip and a non rip support when it comes to section view. Okay, so um, I think that will be the lesson for this video. Okay. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss the next lesson. Okay, so thank you very much and see you in the next video.